What's up? What's up, guys and gals? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what's going on? Um, long time no see. It's been about a week. I apologize. I'm always, always, always making excuses of why I haven't been on here doing reviews. But um, I jumped on here and noticed that we made it over 700 subscribers. So before I even get into anything, I want to say thank you for everybody that subscribed and supported this channel. Um, especially the people from day one. I'm not going to sit here and rattle off names, but you know who you are. I love you. I appreciate you guys. And uh, thank you for sharing the videos, posting them on Facebook, um, thumbs up in them. It's been fantastic. It's been, it's been a fun ride, and I hope that we can jump over 1,000 subscribers pretty soon. But with no further ado, let's get into a review, guys. This is going to be obviously another installment of um, one of the reviews from the Liquid King Chronicles. And of course, guys, I am your host, the Liquid King, your mother-in-law's favorite vapor. So um, I feel bad because I've had this liquid in my collection for months now. And I completely forgot about it. I promised the person who sent it to me way before August 8th that I would review it. I was asked twice, hey, have I gotten to it? Have I vaped it? Do I like it? And I just told him I haven't, I haven't reviewed it yet. And a couple days ago, I started vaping on it, which I normally don't do because if you guys notice, if I do a review, I like to basically vape that liquid for the first time while I'm recording so you guys can see actual reactions. I feel that people that um, get liquids at no cost and, and vape them a, a while ahead of time, they're not going to give you real reactions. That's just my opinion. I'm not saying anybody's right or wrong by the way that they do reviews. They've got a... Uh, uh, shit ton of subscribers more than I have. I'm just saying that I feel that the best, honest, straightforward review is doing it, boom, right on camera, first take. But I wanted to try this because I looked up the profile and I was like, huh, oh, it's interesting. You know what I mean? Because this liquid was doing almond milks before almond milk was cool. We got a few companies doing almond milks and this is good. So basically the liquid that we're gonna be reviewing today is Steam Cycle, okay? Steamy Nuts. I don't know what's going on with nuts and balls, but <laughs> um, we'll come up with excuses for anything to, to make dick jokes. But anyway, Steam Cycle is a um, almond milk custard, okay? It's got a buttercream icing and dried cranberry. So it's like a dessert vape, and it's pretty damn good, okay? Um, it's a little bit different. I got the 30 ml bottle. I do see that on a few sites that's 60 mils, so most likely it's been updated to 60 milliliter, um, which is cool, anywhere from 25 to 27 dollars. And I obviously will post a link in the description um, for those websites that I've seen it on. But um, it comes in 036, and I've seen some places with 12 milligram nick, and obviously it's a 7030 VGPG. I've got it on the RX200 S class. I've got some spaced twisted wire on here, and uh, I've got it on a, a brand new Kennedy that I got, so pretty excited. Authentic Kennedy, not cloned. And we're gonna have ourselves a vape. I have been vaping three milligram for at least a month now, so I've been dibbling and dabbling between zero, 1.5, and three, so um, unfortunately this is a zero milligram, so we won't be able to go over throat hits, but reviews in the future will contain some nicotine so you finally can get um, a throat hit assessment from yours truly. Uh, yeah, so we'll have a vape, we'll go over cloud production, we'll go over overall flavor, and would I repurchase this liquid if I did vape straight through it? Alrighty, so let's do it up. Okay, so with being a 70-30, it should give adequate clouds, and Kennedy's blow friggin' clouds, man, these things are nuts. Yeah, just like I expected. Let me put it up to 62.5 watts. Let's have another little uh, toke, shall we? Excellent vapor production from this liquid. Yeah. Very, very, very good vapor production. Kennedy's produced more than others, but um, it, it gives really good vapor production. It's clouding up the room, as always. And um, as far as flavor, it's very, very subtle. It's a gentle vape, not overly sweet. Let's check if the coils are darkening. A little bit. So it's got a little bit of sucralose in it, I assume. Mm. 
and we'll do an overall sniff test, we'll do a taste test, and I'll basically vape a little bit more, and I'll let you know the, the notes that I'm getting on exhale, okay? So, you're gonna get like a very subtle, it's almost like, hmm, like a cupcake, I guess I would say. It's weird because of the buttercream. So you do get a little bit of buttercream, a little bit of the almond milk. It's got a custody aroma, taste-wise. Buttercream. It said it has cranberries in it. I'm not smelling that too much. And nor am I getting that when I am vaping it. Maybe it'll be more prominent at lower wattage in a tank. But as I'm dripping it... At um, 62.5 watts, I am not getting that cranberry. It may come through and shine through real nice in lower wattage in a coil, but unfortunately, I am not getting that. So, upon vaping it, you get a really good nutty flavor, really, really prominent like a dry almond flavor but you get that delicious not overly sweet buttercream overall it's a very very pleasant vape um if i was to give it a, a, a zero to a ten or a one to a ten whatever you may say i give this a seven and a half to an eight it's good i like it it's familiar with other vapes that i've had before such as whooped um i am always team buttercream i love that buttercream frosting flavor um, and it's good. I think that you guys would like it if you've not tried it. Go out and try it. It can't hurt. It's not expensive. We're getting spoiled right now. Post August 8th, um, we've all been able to get 60 mil bottles for $10, $15 more than the normal 1999 30 mil. I don't even purchase 30 mils anymore. Um, but there are certain brands that do still have it. And for a really, really good, well made, layered dessert or a custard, it's worth 20 bucks all day. It is, it's very, very good. So that's pretty much it, guys. I just do liquid reviews, so there's not really much to yap about. Again, we just hit over 700 subscribers, so thank you. I'm so, so, so grateful um, for everybody that has subscribed and shared the shit out of this channel and shown love. There is like 250 review channels and I'm glad that you guys come here to watch and I apologize for not being around for the last eight days. I've got my own personal issues but I should at least come on here every couple of days and do a review. Um, what we will be doing next is I'm going to be reviewing Funneled finally. Okay, made by J Mac, who's also made whooped and strapped and, and stuff like that. We're gonna be doing some new Bay Max pretty soon, um, and definitely some berry crunch time. So, stay tuned, subscribe, okay, like the video, thumbs up the video, share the video. And as always, guys, this is YouTube, and in the real world, please be kind to one another and always keep your vape hand strong.